Hello and welcome back. It's puzzle time with Sudoku Sleuth. And we have a puzzle that I admit today I'm approaching with a little bit of trepidation. Because once again, I'm looking at a puzzle and a rule set that I think I'm really going to be playing for the first time. And, and you'll see what I mean in a bit of a, a second. Now, the other thing is, and I don't know if you can pick it up on the microphone, but unfortunately, I've had a hard disk crash on me. It actually happened a while ago. And I'm really just sort of trying to give it a go to actually recover some data from it. Um, terrible of me not to have had any backups, but, you know, dozens of terabytes, not necessarily critical files, but I don't necessarily want to try and replicate and replace every single one of them. So um, giving it a go, um, the scanning of the hard disk, though, just constant kind of beeping, nudging, um, is quite annoying. And between the noise that I'm hoping you cannot pick up on the microphone and the fact that I am going to be solving rule set that I haven't come across before, you're going to have to excuse whatever time I'm going to actually produce today. So I'm lining up my excuses before we actually take even a look at, you know, even a single look or a peek at what today's puzzle is. But today is all about parity. So enough of my excuses. Let's take a look at what we actually have in store for us today. So Parity Paradise by, I'm going to pronounce this as Kabler. And most of the rule sets are going to be familiar, except for the one that is at the very end. So let me take you through the rule sets fairly quickly. So standard Sudoku rules apply. So that means the digits one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. That's pretty standard. Digits separated by a black dot are in a one to two ratio. And we've got four of them sort of scattered throughout the grid, which... It also doesn't mention that there are no negative constraints or that they're all given. So I'm going to, of course, interpret that as there are no negative constraints. There could be other cells that also would require black dots and it's not necessarily given. Now, just a quick refresher or for those of you that have seen this for the first time, a one to two ratio means if you have a two, for example, in here and imagine, actually, let's do that far more effectively down there. If that's a two, for example, that means that this cell that's Joining it with the black crop key dot has to be in a ratio of two to one. So that's either one or four. Both of these would be valid options in this particular case. We also have digits in cages summed to the small clue in the top left on the cage. So continuing with where I was there in the box, you've got a three cell cage in here. You can see that with a dashed line and the top left part says it's 12. So the sum of these three cells is 12. Sum of these three cells is 15. And we've got quite a few, actually, cages peppered throughout the puzzle. Now, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, digits cannot repeat along the positive diagonal. So this blue line here says that all the digits along this line, which is you know relatively unusual, obviously, given Sudoku, you could repeat some of these digits, are unique. And given there is nine cells on it, it means that we have to place all of the digits one to nine on this diagonal. Now, here is the bit that I am not familiar with, which is pink lines are equal parity lines, i.e. they consist of either entirely even or entirely odd digits. So let's take this line as an example. This continuous pink line that's made up of five cells is either all odd digits or all even digits. And I say that because it doesn't mention that the numbers have to be unique on it. So normally when you say five cells or five digits, you would immediately think that's got to be odd, but they are in different boxes in different rows. So nothing realistically actually stopped this from being all odd and these numbers just being repeated up here. So fairly interesting rule set and the first time I am coming across it, now, if you are feeling brave or you've seen this rule set before, link will be in the description down below if you want to play along. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on with this rule set for the first time. So these cells, these cages, they're all pointing towards kind of really this digit here in the center. And I feel like this has got to be the breakthrough 
12, 15, 14. Uh, so 12 and 15 is 27, meaning there is 18 in here. 13 and 14 is also 27, meaning there is 18 in here. Now, there's also four black crop key dots, and they're all pointing towards this center. So this a quick refresher of what are the possible combos of black crop key dots. One, two, two, four, four, eight, as well as three, six. So that's it, really. There are no other options. So maybe what I want to do first is see if I can even use three, six in any of these. Because at least if I know if it's one, two, four, and eight, then oh, it's, it's a bit more of a restriction. It's going to help us. So let's have a think. So 12, I think this could be one, two with a nine. This couldn't be one, two in here. It's too low because three would require a 12 in here. That's clearly nonsense. Two, four, that would be a six with a six. Although that actually doesn't work. So maybe we should pay attention to the parity lines as well. So these parity lines, what I've noticed is that they are a minimum of three cells in the same box. Now, whatever the parity is of this one, the other one has to be the polar opposite. And the reason is if they're both the same parity line, sorry, if they're both the same parity, as in they're both odds or the same, or both evens, what we're saying is we have six digits that are of the same parity in the same box, which is clearly nonsense. Because even in the best case scenario of using odds, which is five, so, you know, one, three, five, seven, and nine, that's only five of them. They are not six. So as I go through these examples, what I know for sure is I can't have a cage where all the digits are of the same parity. They have to be different. So although 2, 4 would work in here with a 6, just because of the fact that both of these end up being even, that doesn't actually work. So this is not 2, 4. I don't know if I want to pencil all the options, but I will just leave it in there for the moment. 2, 4 in here will get us to a 6 with a 9. So that's an option, although realistically it can't be the same option. 4 and 8. I guess if this is 1, 2, this could certainly be 4 and 8 with a 3. Now, could this be 4 and 8? 4 and 8 in here would get us to 12, and that doesn't work. So this is definitely one option. Now, the other possibilities I would be using the three sixes. So I think from the 1, 2, 4, 8s, these are the only options, I believe. 1, 2 is too low. 2, 4 would mean that I have to use 3, 6 in here. Yeah. And then 4, 8 definitely couldn't be in there. It would have to be in here. Second option, 3 and 6. So if that's 3, 6, that's 9. It would require a repeated 3 in the cage and the box to get to 12. So that's nonsense. 3 and 6 in here would get me to 9, and I would need, again, a 6, repeating the 6 in the cage and the box to get to 15. So 3, 6 is not in here. This is, in fact, the solution for these cages. And we're left with... 18 in the middle, which is 5, 6, and 7. Super. I'm going to leave these here as a reference as we take a look at this cage. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Well, I think I, we can actually solve this because I said these lines have to be opposite pa parities. That clearly has to be even given this is odd. So that's even, that's odd. And I'm going to use blue for even and orange for odd. And we're probably going to end up having to do this for the entire grid. In fact, this is also even. So I actually know what these two digits are. They are twos and six to complete this. And these are two odd digits to get to the five digits, five odd digits we need to place in box six. Right. Now, I'll tell you something about the 13 and 14 cages for free. I need to have three six in one of them. Because if I don't have 3, 6 again in either, I'd end up with 1, 2, 4, 8. And then somehow, I need to place 3 and 6 in the middle, which I imagine would probably break something. Although that could be the 6 in the middle. 
No, because if I do, no, 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 sorry, ignore that. Um, yeah, let's test this. Can I use three six in both in either either of these? I'm almost certain the answer would be no. Actually, can I choose not to use three six in either of them? That's the question. So one two here wouldn't work because that would be three, and I need to place a ten. And actually, one two here is got the same problem. That's three. That would be an eleven. So a one two pair is not available in either of them. And that's useful because the only way I can avoid a 3-6 is exactly what I've done here, a 1-2 pair with a 4-8 pair. Because you can see the 4 is essentially, the 2-4 are common between them. So I have to have a 3-6 in one of them with not 1-2, but either 2-4 or 4-8. So one of them is a 3-6 pair, one of them has a 4 in it, joint with either a 2 or an 8. So I am going to work through this systematically somewhat. So let's imagine this is the 3, 6. If that's 3, 6, that's already at 9. I need a 4 in here. If this is the 3, 6, I would need a 5 to get to 14 because that's 9 and 5, that's 14. Although the easier one, which is how I did it, was it needs to be one more than whatever this is. So that's the four goes up to five. Now, let's go through these in a bit more detail. If this is three, four, six, how do I get to 14 in here? I think I've broken it already, haven't I? One, two is too low. 2, 4 is not available because I've used the 4 in the 3, 4, 6. And 4, 8 is not available, so there's no black option. So that's nonsense. This is 3, 5. Let's try that again. 3, 5 and 6. This is even. I've done this correctly, haven't I? Let's try that again, excuse me. If this was three, four, six, I can't use one, two. Three, six is nine. Three, six is nine. I need four. So that would be definitely as such if that was the setup. And then I don't think I can see how I can get to 18. Sorry, to 14 with a black crop key dot because three six is not available just used it and i've used the four and i said one two is low too low excuse me two four is not available because the four is up here and four eight is not available so yeah i'm fairly certain i'm onto the right track here right So that's not the option. So now we know that there is a four in here and it's either with an eight and a one to get to 13 or a four with a two. So that would be six with a seven. Actually, I can't do with a six, can I? No, excuse me, that could be correct. Well, this is not a six. Let's just do some simple things in here. So four, eight, and one, that looked fine to me. I'm just going to write that down in here as a reminder. Now, if this is two and four, that's at six, and that's at seven. That's even, that's odd. That's even, that's odd. One, four, and eight. Four and eight, that's even, that's odd. Hmm. In fact, this I've already placed five and six. Excuse me, that's seven. These are not seven, that's five, six pair. Seven is no longer available. Yeah, seven 
that 247 doesn't work, it's 148. And that's even, this is even, these are all odd. Okay, brilliant. And we need something to finish here, that's 2 and 9, I believe, with a 5-6 pair. This is odd, therefore this is even. And we need 1 and 9 in here. Yep. Okay, and I think I'm done with these references, aren't I? I believe so. Now this is even, so the options for an 8 are either 1, 3, 4, or 1, 2, 5. Because this is even, it is not the 1, it is not the 3, it is not the 5. This is 2 or 4. This is the 1, and presumably this is the 3 or 5 to get to 8. So it's either 1, 4, 3, or 1, 5, 2. And both of these are also odd, and we have a 1 up here. Actually, I do also know that these are 2, 6. Anything else I do know? Not necessarily. OK. What's next? So these, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And I guess, yeah, one, two, three, four. So no other clues necessarily about parity in box five, nothing about it in box four. So we're going to actually have to look elsewhere now. Got three of these. I've got three and five. I need a nine somewhere in here. This is, these two digits are the same. Remember, these don't have to be unique. That's the key thing about this one. So just keep that in mind. Right, maybe time to look at the nine, because it's kind of, we're running out of clues, aren't we? Yeah, we are very much running out of clues. Right, so the question is, is there a 1 in here? I think that's the question to answer. Because if it isn't, it's 2, 3, 4. That's reasonably straightforward. And that wouldn't be the 2. That could be a 4, that wouldn't be the 3. Nothing on the diagonal that's helping us just yet. Nothing really down here. See, I keep pausing because I feel like I've made a mistake somewhere that I just need to spot. Because this is looking much harder than I'm expecting. There's so, so few clues that I feel like I must have made a mistake somewhere. And I just keep double checking my maths. 1, 2, and 9. So 3 and 9, that's 12. 4, 8 at 12 with a 3, that's 15. Excuse me, I did make a mistake. Goodness me. Should have been a bit more careful. I mean, this is correct, but this is not. That's 3, 6. Dear, oh dear, that's a five. Yeah, that's catastrophic, really. And therefore, well, this is going to remain odd. This is going to remain odd because these are all going to be even. Yeah, that was embarrassing. Three and five being a ratio of one to two apart. Goodness me. Right, much better. I say much better in the sense that, well, I'm glad I didn't go much further with this mistake. So one nine in here, rather than down there, which is what we initially had. And yeah, 
any options in here. One, five, well, not nine, because we're not going to add up to eight in this with that. Um, odd one in here, odd in all of these. In fact, odd in all of these, because we need to get to five in box two. Um, these were still two, nine. Okay. Right, let's try the eight cage again, and then I'm sure we'll go back to the nine cage, but I'm really hoping it'll be a little bit easier now. Right, let's take a look at the eight cage. So we absolutely have to have a one. And just a quick reminder, it's either one, two, and five, or one, three, and four. So this couldn't be, in fact, we know that it's not the three because that's nonsense. So this is one, two, five, that's not one, that's not two. This is a one, five pair, that's the two, that's an even digit, this is an odd digit. And look at that, that's looking better already, that's a nine. These are even, that's four, eight, and yeah, that opens up much better. All of these now we know are definitely odd, because we've already placed all the four even digits in here. Um, this is also 4, 8, because this is 2, this is the 6, that's 4, 8, that's the 6. There is a 2 in here somewhere, we don't know which one, with the remaining 4, 8. And I think we probably stand a much better chance of solving the 9 now. Right, options for 9. So we have 1, 2 and 6, that's one option. 1, 3, and 5, that's second option. And then the last option is 2, 3, and 4. So, can we make all of these work? I think the fact that we have three odd digits in here, I think we could turn it all into odd. I mean, this works. And then two e no, it doesn't, because we've got three evens in here. Another two evens in there would make it five. So, that is nonsense 135 is out so we have these two options remaining so this is either the one or the three looking at the odd digits from these two and shockingly both of these now are even because it's either two and six or two and four in any scenario we've got a two in here and look at that this two gives us that the order of it, this is not the two, this is the two, this six is looking up here, that's the four, that's the eight, that's the four. Two, four means this has to be the three. Beautiful. Four gives us the eight, gives us the four. And I don't want to say we're stuck again, but progress, I will take it. I will absolutely take it. We know that the 9 is up here, just because of this 9, eliminating the 9 from these two. So there's a 9 up there. There is a 9 in here. Not sure how useful some of these are, but these are 1, 5, and 7. These are 3, 5, and 7. 3 is in here, and therefore this is from... I mean, I will pencil mark them, 5, 7, and 9, except... This is not a seven. In fact, this is quite restricted. In fact, this is given. One, five, and nine, and three really made it all the options except the seven. So there is a seven down here, which I will corner mark anyway. And what else do we know? This is going to be very restricted. It's not 3, 7, or 9. That's 1 or 5. Am I going to do any more? May have to. Probably will have to to make some progress. Yeah, because I'm not sure. You know, we've basically used up almost all of our clues, except for the diagonal. So I think we are going to have to think about pencil marking all of these to make the next step really here. Right, 
options. So let's start with this cell. This is not seven, it's not three. It could be one, five, or nine. It's a good question, actually. Where does the five go? It's not in here. It's not in there because we've got one five pair, five six pair. One of these has to be a five. Have we got something similar going on with the nines? Almost. Very nearly. Because again, these can't be the nines. We've got a two nine pair. This cannot be the nine, one nine pair as well as a nine here. Unfortunately, this can be a nine and almost certainly is because we've got corner pencil marks of these nines in these two cells. Let's continue for a moment. So what else do we need to place in here? Um, just more broadly in this box. So what cell, what do we have left? Four has to be in there, because this four is eliminated from both of these as an option. We need a six, which is not in these two cells. Could be in here, could be in there. Could be in either of these spots. We need an eight. I think I may be better off focusing on the odd digits first before I kind of venture down the evens. Let's just finish that thought. No threes in here. Threes is either in there or in here. It's quite a few spaces left for three. Quite a few spots for one as well. Right, let's just pencil the options here. So this is one, three, four, and eight. Except these are not fours. This could be the six. It's not quite enough. I feel like I need to do a bit more pencil marking. Try and figure out what exactly is going on. So the loose digit here is in this column is the one five. So this is either five nine or one five and nine. I need to place a seven still. And it's not in there. But it could be anywhere in here. What about the eight and the six? Oh, look at that. Six and eight tells us these are the six and eight. That's not the five. I said I need to have a five in here. Um, yeah, that is correct. So these are even. Where am I placing the nine? Ah, yes, the nine goes down there. Brilliant. That's coming along now, finally. These sixes and eights, this is not a six, this is the eight, this is the six. So no sixes on here, but we do need an eight. We've got two, four, what is that cell? Hang on, sorry, I've only got, yeah, we've got three, one, three and eight. This is not the one. This could be the three or the eight, and there's definitely a one this way. So that's not a one. I'm sure I could do better. These two are odd. This is the nine. This is the one. These are now one and seven. This one tells us the order. That's the one. That's the seven. This is now, well, definitely a nine, but it's either three, nine or five, nine. We don't know the order yet, unfortunately. Kind of surprised this doesn't resolve. I just keep thinking it really should. Um, parity, maybe? Nope. Nope. 
No. Okay, time to look. Well, parity up here. These are all odd. That's helpful. It is 3, 7, and 9. Neither of these are 9. That's the 9. It's almost all the 9's done now. Almost. We need a 6 somewhere in here. Along with 1 and 5. Why did I pick the 6? 6 because we've got 2, 4, and 8. So that's definitely a 6. We've already placed all the other odd numbers, 3, 7, and 9. So we need a 6. These are all, yeah, these are all even. Um, and this is not 2 or 6, that's 4 or 8. Um, we need a 2 somewhere on here. This 2 eliminates, this 2 eliminates, that's the 2. That's the second 4 and 8. We need 1 and 5, meaning this is not 5. This is 9, and this is 7. These are now 3, 5. This 9 gives us this 1, this 9. Do they give us anything else? No. And let's just pencil mark the options here. 1, 5, and 6. That's not 1. So I'm just going to undo this for a second. Yep, that's not 1. Now, because this is 4 and 8, this has to include a 6 in here. We've got 4 of them. That's not a 6. That's definitely an odd digit. This is also definitely an odd digit. We've got 1 and 5 pair. That's got to be 3 and 7. That is a 3. That's an 8. These are not 8 anymore. These are not 3 anymore. These are evens. These are odds. This is even... Beautiful. Right. One, two, three, four, five. All of these are even. Meaning this is the seven. Presumably that's also even now. One, two, three, four, and five. Yep. Yeah. So this is four or six. This is four or six. That's four. That's six. Of course. You know, there is an unresolved 4, 8, but it's, it's fine. Um, this is can only be a 6. This can only be a 5. This can only be a 1. And therefore, that's the 5. That's the 1. 3, 5, and 7. Yeah, we've got 2 and 8 in here. Meaning that's... Excuse me, that's a 4, that's an 8. We need 2 and 4, which are, in fact, placed. And we need 2 odd digits in here, which I'm sure is resolved. We need 5 and 3. And it is, in fact, resolved. These are not 5. These are 5 with a 9. And we're very nearly there. Very nearly there. So this is 6 with a 4, 8. I'm not going to pencil mark this just yet. And these are whatever this digit is. Oh, it's got to be the 3, surely. Yeah, there is no other place for the 3. So this is a 3 with whatever the 4, 8 is. I am going to pencil mark this, and therefore these are not 3. That's a 5, 7 pair. This is starting to get very busy. Have I? No. I think we're going to have to rely on parity to help us close this out. There you go. That's got to be odd. That's got to be even as a result. This has to be 5. This has to be 6. 2, 6, this 5 gives us a 3, the 5, therefore the 1, the 3, the 7, the 1, this is not the 3, this is the 3, therefore this is the even, and that's the odd, I'm sure that will tell us, we've got, yeah, 5 odds, that's even, that's odd, 
So therefore, that's the 9592.57. Got 4 and 8 in here, meaning this is 2, 6 pair. That's a 6, 2, 6. This is 4 or 8 again. How are we not resolving these 4 8s? Yeah, this is the 4 8 resolving now. 8, 4, 2, 8, 4, 8, 4, 8. And then 3 7s at the top. If I've not made any mistake, that's a solution to today's puzzle. Wow. So I think it is like... um. It is a very logical puzzle. You know, you need the break in with this one, two, four, eight, and realizing that three, six is not available, and therefore you had that one, two on the side, four, eight on this side. Realizing that there has to be a three, six in here because the one, two doesn't work in either of them. Obviously, ignore my mistake here with the fact that I got this as a three, five pair. And then using. I think you really did need to color this grid. I mean, forgetting the ending for a second, you, know, you really needed to realize that you've placed all the evens in column nine to be able to make a breakthrough with the nine, which really just started to allow you to get into all the other things. And then the diagonal, just truly vital to be able to cross all of these boxes and actually just make some progress around being able to place digits. Um, I'm not sure... You know, when I just walk through the solve, I don't entirely agree with the one-star rating. You know, it is quite involved. It is a very narrow solution path. Uh, despite it being very logical, you, you really have to basically be looking constantly for what's the next step, what's the next clue. Um, but aside from a couple of silly mistakes I made, such as this one, um, this is an absolutely beautiful puzzle. Um, thank you very much for constructing it tabler and sharing it with us. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you enjoyed the puzzle. See you back for the next one and bye for now.